it again. So I hope you are ready to move on and start our part 3 for molecular and empirical formula. In this part 3, we will talk about the hydrate problems. Hydrate is any compound having water molecules and our main goal is going to be how to find those number of moles of water trapped in that crystalline molecule. Now there are two things we should remember. We will have two masses will have the mass of the anhydrous when it is dry there is no water and we will have the mass of water which is trapped and if it's together if we add these two what we call is the hydrate so that will be mass of the hydrate molecule so let's begin our very first problem so in this problem we have been given hydrated iron 3 nitrate let's get the formula for that which I believe is F E and we need 3 of nitrate and then it's a hydrate but we don't know how many moles so let's think that's X H2O we had, our job is to find out that X now so we are going to treat this just simply the way we did the empirical formula we are going to have the ratio for this anhydrous to the water molecules so let's begin it's anhydrous iron nitrate without water molecules and over here we have the water molecules so we are going to begin with the mass of each of that clearly it says the anhydrous compound is 179.7 so let's write down that and then how do you get the mass of water molecules the total mass for all of this if this was given to you and this was given to you and when we add that was coming as 300 gram so the water molecules mass must be 300 grams minus whatever is the mass for anhydrous and that is 120.3 grams next step is grams to the moles so we are going to go to the moles by dividing what we have by molar mass and the molar mass for iron nitrate is 241.86 and this is 80.02 we can see grams per mole okay. when we simplify that we get moles which are 76299 and then this is 6.6759 okay the next step is divide by the smallest obviously this is the smallest one so we divide by that and then this one is divided by Okay, this is equal to 1 obviously and when we simplify that we end up getting 8.98 or when we round up that will be 9. So we got the empirical formula ratio as 1 to 9. Now remember that 1 is for anhydrous 1 and that 9 goes for water. So what did we get? We got the formula F. NO3 that's 3 and then it is 9 H2O so there are 9 molecules of water in that hydrate let's do one more problem this is the hydrate of iron 2 sulfide let's write down the formula it is Fe and SO3 2 it's a hydrate and we don't know how many moles of water are there so let's imagine those were x moles of water and then we are going to have two columns one for anhydrous second for water molecules and then let's begin with what is given to us what is given to us is percent of water so that is 44.2 
0.26%. Well, if water percent is given to you, you can find out the percent for iron to sulfide. That will be simply subtraction from 100. And when we do that, what we get is 55.75. Go back to our empirical formula by song. So it's percent to the mass, and you know it is same if we consider the mass is out of 100 grams. So we got from percent to the mass, and then mass to the moles. When we do mass to the mole, we are divided by the molar mass. Molar mass for water is 18.02 grams per moles. And then for iron sulfide, it is 135.91 grams per mole. Okay, when we divide that, we are getting 0 0.4102, and then this is 2.456. The next step is divide by the smallest, which is. 0.4102 this is equal to 1 and this is roughly 5.987 which I can round up to 6 so there you go your 1 goes for iron sulfide and that 6 is going to go for water so we can write down correct formula for the hydrate FeSO3 is 2 and this XH2 is actually 6H2 so we have 6 molecules of water so don't you think it's fun learning all about the molar mass and empirical formula mass so do you want to sing the song again it is percent to the mass and mass to the moles and then divide by the smallest. Yes, divide by the smallest. And then what we get is multiply, multiply, multiply till the whole. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun and solve more problems on empirical and molecular formula. See you in the class. Bye.